Hey, good morning, Daily Dosers. Today we find ourselves in 2 Timothy chapter 2, and I love 1 and 2 Timothy as these letters specifically to Timothy from Paul, but also to be read in, in front of a, a church in Ephesus that's struggling a little bit, where you have this storm center of false teaching in a city of Ephesus, and Paul 25 times looks at Timothy and he says, be strong, be strong. In the midst of this, I need you to persevere. I need you to keep going. And we find one of those be strongs and at the beginning of chapter two, it says this, you then my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And then he goes on to really use three analogies, one of a soldier, one of an athlete, and one of a farmer. And the first one, he says, no one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather they try to please their commanding officer. It really hits on the question of who, who are you living to please? Are you living to please the people around you, or are you really living to please this higher command? Um, and I can imagine Paul... Uh, using his experience in prison as he watched these soldiers walk back and forth and who they listened to and who they obeyed and who they looked to as this higher authority. And then the second one, he says, similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by competing according to the rules. And with this one, he's really hitting perseverance with what rules are you playing by? Are we living this Christian life by our own rules where we kind of pick and choose? Or do we live by God's standard of him saying, hey, this is how you walk. This is life that's actually life. Here's the framework that I've designed for you. And the one I want to hone in on is this third one where he says the hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. And in here, he's asking the question of where are you being fed? Of We understand, man, a hardworking farmer, they also have to have this same framework of perseverance, just like the soldier. The soldier that doesn't keep fighting, he never sees the end of the battle. The athlete that doesn't keep racing, the, the, the athlete that doesn't keep working out and practicing, they never see the, the end result, the prize. The farmer that doesn't work hard, the farmer that doesn't um, plan ahead and look ahead and, and know his watering schedule, the, the farmer that doesn't understand all of that, they don't see the result, they don't see the crop. However, he says the hardworking farmer should be the first to receive the share of crops. And really what Paul's getting at here is Timothy, in the midst of uh, your ministry, in the midst of what you have going on, remember that you yourself also have to be fed. Remember that you in this city of Ephesus, in this season of ministry, and in the midst of be strong, be strong, be strong 25 times, you yourself need to be fed. The, the message that you're preaching, the gospel that you understand, this Jesus that you're trying to make known, make sure that you know him as well. And I love that analogy that he uses of the farmer uh, burying the crop and then the farmer not just going and selling that crop or, and then starting over, but remembering, no, I, I also need to be fed and I also need to take this in. Why? Because once I'm fed, then I know I'm going to be strong and I know I'm going to be able to go out and I know I'm going to be able to persevere. And so with this understanding of be strong and this understanding of perseverance, I think Paul's real challenge to Timothy and his challenge to the Ephesian church and, and the challenge for us reading it today is, what am I doing in this season of life to make sure that I am filled up, to make sure that I approach today, my whether it's my job or my family or my spouse or my kids or my church or whatever it is, that I'm not just doing so from a place of my own strength or from a place of duty or from a place of like, okay, like here's what I have to do today and here's what I need to do and here's what I'm called to. But man, may we start from a place of living filled up. May we start from a place of um, receiving first and remembering that we need to be strong in the grace that is Jesus Christ, that we're grounded and rooted in the gospel, that we're abiding in him, as uh, Jesus says in John 15, so that we can then go out and preach, so that we can then go out and teach and have these healthy relationships that we're rooted in the gospel. We're remembering, I need to eat first, and then I will go out and feed, and then I will go out and be strong. It's the challenge for you to today, North Coast. That's the challenge for me today, as I want to minister from a place of being completely filled up in the gospel. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.